In chapter 18, we're going to talk about how to create minor scales. Now, these can be created in much the same way that major scales can be created using either the chromatic method or the natural minor key signature. But there's an additional method which might be easier for some people where you can actually take the major scale and simply lower particular scale degrees to create your minor scale. So we'll talk about all of this in this chapter. First, when it comes to minor scales, you need to understand there are three types of minor scales. There's natural, harmonic, and melodic. A natural minor scale will use a minor key signature without any accidentals. It will take the pitches directly from the circle of fifths in minor. A harmonic minor scale is essentially a natural minor scale with a raised seventh scale degree. So it will use a natural minor scale key signature, but the seventh scale degree has to be raised by a half step. In a melodic minor scale, you have a natural minor scale on the way up with a raised sixth and seventh ascending, and on the way down you have a natural minor scale, and this gives a more natural contour for going up and down the scale. One thing that I should mention about minor scales, the three forms that are commonly practiced by musicians are not normally employed that way in an actual composition. Instead, in an actual composition, composers will choose notes from within the natural harmonic and melodic minor scale options. These three scales are really intended only for performers to learn the most common patterns found in music, and this allows performers to sight read more effectively. So if you're a performer and you know how to play all of your natural harmonic and melodic minor scales, then you have greater finger dexterity and a greater ability to perform music at sight, which means the first time you've seen it. So these scales are really ideal for performers that want to get really good at sight reading music and become really capable performers. So there are three methods for creating minor scales. You can use a circle of fifths, you can use a chromatic scale using whole steps and half steps, or you can use a major scale. The chromatic scale is a little bit more difficult when it comes to the harmonic and melodic forms of the minor scale, but it works pretty well for the natural minor scale. And then from the natural minor scale, you can just raise certain scale degrees to figure out your harmonic and melodic. If any of this is confusing, make sure you read chapter 18. And the next few slides should also help to clarify some of these points. So using the circle of fifths for the natural minor scale, let's say you want to create a B flat natural minor scale. In the image below, you'll see that We've written out essentially a B flat scale starting and ending on B flat, but I haven't included any of the flats in the first image. So then next, locate the key of B flat minor in the circle of fifths. You'll notice that the key of B flat minor has five flats. So that means you have to include the flats B, E, A, D, and G. Once you know what flats are required, you simply add the flats to the appropriate notes in the scale. So we need to put in our B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. So the first, third, fourth, sixth, seventh scale degree will be flatted. And the bottom image shows you what a completed B flat minor scale looks like. If you want to use a circle of fifths for a harmonic minor, it's the same thing. Create a B flat harmonic minor scale using the natural minor scale first. So first create your natural minor scale and then instead of keeping the seventh scale degree flat, raise it by a half step. So in the first example, you see B flat C, D flat, E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat. A flat is a seventh scale degree. So we need to raise that a half step to make it a natural. So the bottom example is the correct version of the harmonic minor scale. B flat, C, D flat, E flat, F, G flat, 
a raised seventh for the seventh scale degree. So we have an A natural and then a B flat. So that's all you have to do to create your harmonic minor scales. If you want to create a melodic minor scale, then you have to have essentially two different scales. There's one scale that goes up and another one that goes down. So for the melodic minor scale, you can go ahead and create a natural minor scale on the way up and down, as you see in the first example. We've got our B flat natural minor scale, ascending and descending, and then simply raise the sixth and the seventh scale degree on the ascending version only. So if you look at the image below, you have the same exact scale descending for natural minor and melodic minor, but ascending the sixth scale degree and the seventh scale degree are raised by a half step. So instead of G flat and A flat on the way up, you have G natural and A natural. One quick comment about parallel and relative minor. This is a concept you're going to come across in more advanced study. With a parallel key signature, you're going to have the same tonic and a different key signature. So what this means is that C major and C minor are considered parallel minor because they both start on the note C, but C major has no sharps and no flats. C minor, if you look at your minor circle of hiss, actually has three flats. So the key signature changes, but they both start on the same note. That makes them parallel. It's as if they're operating on the same initial tonic. So in a major minor key, both have the same starting pitch. They are parallel because they begin and end on the same note. So you could have a C major scale with a parallel minor, and that would be C minor, and the minor scale would have three flats, or you can ask for the parallel major of a minor scale. So for example, if you have C minor and you want the parallel major, then you just take away the three flats to make it major. The basic concept here is that Parallel key signatures can go from parallel major to the parallel minor and from the minor to the parallel major. They can go both ways. So another example, A major has three sharps in it. You can figure that out by going to your circle of fifths and seeing that A major does in fact have three sharps. A minor has no sharps but it starts on A, just like A major. So the parallel minor of A major is A minor. The parallel major of A minor is A major. So that's an important concept. Additionally, you can have relative key signatures. This is kind of the opposite. Instead of sharing the same starting pitch or the same tonic, they share the same key signature, which means they're going to have a different tonic. So an example of this would be C major and A minor. Both C major and A minor have no sharps and no flats. So they're considered relative to each other because they are related by key signature. And one way to figure out your relative key signature is to take the major and go to the sixth scale degree. So in C major, if you go up to the sixth scale degree, you get A. C, D, E, F, G, A. That's the sixth scale degree. If you want to figure out the relative minor of B flat major, go to the sixth scale degree. B, C, D, E, F, G. G is the sixth scale degree. So the relative minor of B flat major would be G minor. So in a major minor key, have both have the same key signature but a different tonic, the two scales are said to be relative to each other. So there's another way to convert your major to minor scales. This is a really simple way and it works pretty effectively for most situations. So you can take your major scale and simply lower specific scale degrees. 
So if you take a major scale and you want to create a mat natural minor scale from that major scale, simply lower the third, sixth, and seventh scale degree. So in C major, you'd lower the third, which is E flat, and you'd lower the sixth, which would make it A flat, and you'd lower the seventh, which would make it B flat. So you just turned a C major scale into a C minor scale simply by lowering the third, sixth, and seventh scale degree. If you want to make a harmonic minor scale, don't lower the seventh, just lower the third and the sixth scale degree from the major. If you want to make melodic minor, you have to do two things. On the way up and the way down, they're going to be different. So on the way up, you just lower the third. On the way down, lower the third, sixth, and seventh scale degree. So essentially you have a hybrid natural minor and mi uh, major scale on the way up, and then on the way down you have a natural minor scale. So another way to create these scales, I'm going to show you in more detail now how to use a major scale to create your natural harmonic and melodic minor scales. So to create the natural minor scale, in the first image you go ahead and you create your parallel major scale to your minor scale. So in this case, if I want to make a C minor scale, I start with my C major scale. So no flats, no sharps. Then, as you can see in part two here, the second image, the third, sixth, and seventh scale degree are lowered. If you want to create a harmonic minor scale, Again, start with a major scale, and then simply lower the third and the sixth scale degree. And if you want to make a melodic minor scale, start with a parallel ma major scale, and then on the way up, just lower the third scale degree, and on the way down, lower the seventh, sixth, and third scale degree. There is another method which is discussed in the textbook, and this involves using memorizing a series of whole steps and half steps but since that's a little more involved and generally the hardest way to do this that is reserved for the textbook so these are the most common methods used by most musicians